Hello chess lovers, let's have a quick look at a game played by Paul Morphy and Thomas Herbert. The game was played in New Orleans in 1857. Though this was a chess simul, but even in that case you can see that Paul Morphy has surrendered his knight on b1. By the way, about 15% of the known games of Paul Morphy are games in which he gave odds. Let's see how the game went on. Morphy started with e4, e5 by black, and Morphy goes for this aggressive king's gambit. He takes f4, knight f3, this is the king's gambit accepted, and black chooses a very sharp line starting with g5, bishop c4, g4, d4, paying no attention that the knight on f3 is hanging, g takes f3, white castles, bishop h6, well, instead of bishop h6, it's also possible to take on g2. After f takes g2, the following continuation is possible. Bishop takes f7 check, king takes f7, queen h5 check, king g7, rook takes f4. And this is going to be a very sharp game. But let's go back. We see bishop h6 in the game, queen takes f3, knight c6. And Paul Morphy goes for another sacrifice, bishop takes f7 check, king takes f7, right now Morphy is down 3 pieces, queen h5 check, king g7, bishop takes f4, bishop takes f4, rook takes f4, knight h6, protecting the f7 square, rook a f1, queen e8, offering an exchange of queens, but of course Morphy rejected this offer and d6 by black a bad move a better move is queen g6 if rook f6 then rook g8 giving up the queen well after rook takes g6 h takes g6 black has a rook and three pieces against the queen and this is an equal position but after d6 we can see that black is losing its knight after queen f6 check King g8 and queen simply captures on h6 square. Bishop d7 and in this position Morphy played rook f3, threatening a check on g3. But the thing is that he had missed a checkmate in 5. Can you find the winning sequence of moves in this position? Ready? Here, as I have already mentioned, white could have checkmated by playing rook f8 check. If queen takes, then queen g5 check, queen g7, queen d5 check, bishop e6, queen takes e6, and then queen takes f7, and this is a checkmate. But instead, Morphy played rook f3, knight e7, eyeing on g6 square in order to cover the king, h4, knight g6, h5, bishop g4, h takes g6, h takes g6, and in this position Morphy is checkmating his opponent in the most beautiful way, rook f8 check, queen takes f8, rook takes f8, rook takes f8, and queen g6, an amazing checkmate. This is the so-called epaulette mate. You can see that the black king is sandwiched between two rooks and has no safe square to escape, and this is a checkmate. Your comments and questions, please, and thanks for watching. Good luck.